What's up guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the 11th stage of the Tour de France we've passed the halfway mark uh, we're uh, keep uh, sorry we're staying in the Pyrenees for this stage uh, a flat stage between Albi and Toulouse if you haven't seen the previous episodes then please go ahead and do so we're currently fourth of the GC with Romain Bardet uh, we're leading the points classification with uh, Romain Bardet as well we're, we're leading the mountain classification with Alexis Goujar um, and we're going to try to win this stage with Oliver, La um, sorry, with Oliver Nazan, which is what we do on the channel. We win sprints with uh, with Nazans, with Nazan and Bardet. So yeah, without further ado, uh, let's jump in and see what we can do for this 167 km stage. We are deep inside the Pyrenees for this stage between Albi and Toulouse. Um, quite a flat stage. Probably one of the last chances for the sprinters before I think the stage number 17, if I'm correct. Um, say, sorry, stage 16. And then, like, there's only two more sprint stages. So if we could, like, get some good points with Bardet or Nazan, I reckon we could bring the points, like, the, the points jersey home. I genuinely think so. There's already a breakaway, uh, an attempt of it. Um, we have Michael Valgren. There's been a crash, Moscon and uh, Kutkowski. Okay, no, the uh, Rhein Tarme as well. Uh, okay, well, looks like some of the riders can't like ride their bikes. Okay, interesting start. Very interesting start. We're going to rest our riders. No one in the break today. Uh, there's just no point whatsoever. We'll take a look at the breakaway once it's properly formed. Right now, it's just a bit of a mess. Oliver Nazan can stop his efforts, uh, even though he brought back the ballot. The, the, yeah, the, he managed to catch the, br the, the breakaway, sorry. A new offensive. Michael Valgren, Simon Geschke, Nikita Abstra, Nils Polite, Johan Fredo, Anthony Roux. Um, Viermoz are going to stop. Bardet's on plus two. I would have liked to have a plus two on the mountain stage. Hopefully he'll have it like tomorrow. Uh, Matthias Fong on minus two, okay. Well, I think we've got a breakaway. I don't see anyone else attacking. Uh, Kutkowski, Moscon are going to come back. The uh, f sixth place of the GC. Not having the best of starts. Um, but yeah, nothing interesting for us in this stage. Uh, so let's fast forward a bit. There's been a crash in the peloton uh, yet again. And this time, there is one important rider. Let let's be fair, that's why Amin Rondal Jensen and Tony Martin are stopping. Dylan Rundwegen. Is down. Uh, I mean, he'll come back eventually. There's been another crash. That's Kevin Le Danois. A lot of crashes happening in this stage. Uh, like the the descents being wet. Don't help the riders there. And that's the end of the Tour de France for Kevin Le Danois, 154th of the GC. Uh, there's been another crash. Root Pulse is down. Rowan Dennis, Simon Clark, Mikel Morkov, Peggy Bilbao, Emmanuel Buchmann. Wow. Okay. That is a lot of crash, uh, a lot of crashes. Sorry. Um, nevertheless, I think the uh, like everyone except Le Danois will manage to come back in the group ahead. The uh, last rider of the GC, Kevin Van Melsen, has been caught in the incident as well. Um, I think everyone come back. Like you've got like say, Lutsenko is there, Bilbao Lutsenko. Is, like it's two, two good riders for Astana. I run Dennis down, Vudpuls. I would have liked that to be a mountain stage. I mean, like. Ineos would have lost one rider, but yeah, Ronnevegan is going to come back in the main peloton, so that's the end of the incident for the, uh, for the Lotto Yumbo. There's been, again, another crash, and this time TJ Van Garderen is withdrawing from the Tour de France. Uh, in the crash, you also find Peter Sagan. Peter Sagan is down, or maybe he's waiting for Emmanuel Buchmann. Uh, that would be quite weird, but I am think he is. You have Mike Tunison uh, caught up in the incident. Vianney Moscon, um, Sonny Colbrelli, I'm trying to see, Elia Viviani, Elia Viviani has been co-op in the incident, uh, they'll probably come back eventually. Um, is Ronnevegan here? Yes, Ronnevegan is there again. Dylan Ronnevegan has been co-op in yet another incident in today's stage. He's not having the easiest of rest days, uh, more of a, no, of trans uh, transition stages. The, um, the third place of the points classification, if I'm correct. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm going to show you the GC if you haven't seen the previous episodes. Which looks like this. 
Geraint Thomas leading the way from Nibali, Fuglsong, Barden, Valverde. Uh, I think the top five is definitely something we can e aim for, and the podium is my actual aim. Uh, so yeah, let's ju let's just see how things goes. We're 10 kilometers away from the intermediate sprint. We're gonna try and take points with Barde and Nazan for this. Oh my God, no! Oliver Nazan has crashed. Oliver Nazan has crashed. That's not good. I swear. Wake up. Go back on your bike. Don't you dare withdraw from the race. Okay, good. Okay, come back. You're gonna have to come back. I'm not gonna have anyone waiting. Uh, actually, I am. Actually, I am. We'll have Matthias Frank waiting for him. Alright, meanwhile, uh, we have the intermediate sprint to take care of. We're gonna sprint with Bardet, uh, trying to take as much points as we can. Um, like there's, th there's some points yet to be taken. Rene Wegen is there. I don't think he's been like injured by his injuries. Injured by his injuries, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, no, injured by the crash. So, he managed to get the first place here. I'd rather have him, him first at the intermediate and then last at the uh, actual sprints. Well, not first, or, um, at least. And Matthias Franck is going to, ma to, to bro back Oliver Nazan in the peloton. Great work by the, uh, by the Swiss. Uh, echelons are being done at the moment we're speaking. We have a peloton of 24 riders here being paced by Thomas de Rent. Uh, and then there's a group of 127. That's literally just behind. We're gonna make our train. Uh, the issue is that Oliver is not on a good day. Uh, well, I mean, following his crash, I don't think he's gonna be able to like have a good sprint. Uh, wait, that's gonna be seven. Yeah, we can swap these two around. We're gonna have Cosnefroy behind Cherel, Cherel behind Viermoz. Um, I don't know if I should pace right now. I'm gonna see like if we can sustain the gap on this group. Uh, like, is anyone co-op in this group? No. Okay, so I, d I don't know if it's worth it, like, pacing with Viermoz right now. I've got Goujar to rest, just in case, like, I don't want him to do any effort before the actual stage tomorrow. Uh, no, okay, the peloton did regroup. Breakaway is still in the lead, though, 1 minute 20 for uh, Nils Polit, Nick Tabstra, Simon Geschke, Michael Valgren, Anthony Roux, and Johan Fredo. Okay, we're entering the uh, first part of Toulouse. The breakaway is about to be co-op, uh, the peloton is now an actual group. Michael Chirel is soon gonna die, so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to use, uh, to use Alexis Goujard, uh, even though I would have liked not to. Because Nefra gonna take the wheel of Anthony Goujard. I, fuck, why do I call him Anthony? Alexis Goujard. Five kilometers remaining, we're gonna go to the right hand side of the road to avoid uh, any form of uh, issues with the uh, former breakaway. There's a slight hill, uh, which is good. Actually, it's brilliant. Because we can, like, maybe have a, sl a, a little gap. That'd be incredible. Come on. Can we have a gap? Is it gonna be like an, a sprint with Thibaut Pinot is the only not a desert rider? That'd be sick. That would be genuinely sick. Kosnefroy launching the sprint, Gallop in the wheel. Nazan immediately below, uh, like, behind, sorry. Can Nazan win the stage or is it going to be a win from Romain Bardet in Toulouse? The win for Romain Bardet ahead of Oliver Nazan and Tony Galopin and then Benoît Cosnefroy. Oh, could we have a gap? Could we have a, li a little gap? That'd be sick. Hat trick the Forage de Désert. Like, the slide hill here is genuinely peng. Like, I love it. You can make a lot of gaps here. Well, a lot of gaps. You can have some things here happening. The group Sagan finishes here. Ronnevegan in 7th. Caleb Ewan is the first rider in the peloton uh, in 4th place. But Bardet and Nazan are making big moves for the green jersey. I was not expecting any gaps to happen. This didn't disappoint. Um, but Bardet nonetheless takes the win in Toulouse ahead of Oliver Nazan and Tony Galopin. 1, 2, 3. Forage de la Mondiale. Caleb Ewan managed, manages to win the peloton sprint ahead of Benoît Cosnefroy who finished his efforts. In, in like agony. But Gary Thomas keeps his yellow jersey. Roman Bardet makes a move up to 10 seconds now. Well, gains 10 seconds on everyone, uh, which is all good for him. Nibali and Fugulsong are still on the podium. The Polkadot jersey now, I think, still led by Anthony Goujard. Ah, fuck's sake. Still led by Alexis Goujard, 53 points, 30 points ahead of Tom Squins, the rider from Trek Sigafredo. The points classification is um, led by Romain Bardet with now 232 points, 70 points ahead of the first non-Ajadez Arla Mondial rider, 
So we're, we're looking good. Like, Romadale is genuinely looking good to bring the jersey home, which would be a very, like, a massive surprise to me. Genuinely a big surprise. And the white jersey is still worn by Enric Mas. Best team is still the Team Sky, and we're still second. What a weird stage. With Romain Bardet winning ahead of Oliver Nazen and Tony Galopin in Toulouse in the sprint stage. Um, yeah, the don't, I didn't really expect that to happen. Nibali gets 10th, Fugelsong 11th, Gavin Thomas 13th. So again, the sprinters aren't at their best in this tour. Thibaut Pino 24th, when at one point I thought he was going to win, like, because he was straight behind me. Um, anyone with drink from the tour? Buchmann lost 3 minutes. Uh, I mean, he was already far down the road, to be honest. Van Garderen and Kevin Nodanois have withdrawn from the Tour de France. Okay. Well, uh, tomorrow's stage is the first mountain stage since La Planche de Belfi between Toulouse and Bagnard de Bigorre. I'm not expecting any big things to happen considering that there's no hill finish. Well, it's no summit finish. What I'm expecting though is to have Anthony Goujard in the form of his life to try and have points for one of the two climbs. That'd be what I'm hoping for right now. But if you want to see that, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, smash a like on the video if you enjoyed it, that would really help me out. Uh, make sure to get involved in the comments down below if you want to talk with anyone, uh, or even just talk, like, talk, say things to me, then please feel free to. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. I've been Blackwell, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. But I'm all the money feeding, I don't wanna go bombay. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bealing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.